I'm just going to show you how to do time lapse, hyper lapse, and motion lapse on the Pocket 3. Bottom left icon, just select that. All the way to the end. These will be your settings. You swipe up. And firstly, you'll have your hyper lapse on there. I always recommend at times 15 right there. You'll get a nice, smooth, steady hyper lapse. There'll be no jerks in there. Just like the ones I've done earlier. So that's the hyper lapse. Then just next to that's the time lapse. You just swipe up to set your values. Intervals there. If you want to take a picture every four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, etc. And then un underneath that's your duration. That can go right up to five hours, which is very impressive. Be very boring though. <laughs> I like the intervals every two seconds and at least 20 minutes. And then the next one's motion lapse. This is the one you don't get with the Action 4. For obvious reasons, the Action 4 is a static camera lens. And to do motion lapse, you need motion in there. So you need it to move. So you swipe up there. Again, set your intervals. Again, your duration. And on motion lapse, it differs slightly. You've got to set waypoints. So to do this, just move your joystick to where you want the first point to be. Let's just say there, you select that point and then you'll move to somewhere else. So if you want to do a nice diagonal motion, you can set that right to the top. You select that point and then when you hit record, it'll go to the first point and then slowly move to the second point, taking a picture every two seconds. Just like this. So that just about wraps it up for today. So again, if you like videos like this, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Bye for now.